Welcome back to Leroy Scribble's channel. Thank you for joining me once again. I have a Funko Box unboxing coming right up. <laughs> Anyway, so I've been shopping at the Hobby Shop. Fantastic little shop in a place called Faversham in Kent. I have bought this Funko Pop. And I am going to get this out and show you. I can't I remember how much it cost. I think it was £10. But anyway, it is a pop that I had never seen before. I'd never seen this one, Abby. No, I've never seen it either. Um, I've seen some other Funkos of this character that's fairly common in Smiths and other shops that you go to, but I'd never seen this particular one before, so I the, snapped um, it up. I've always seen the festive one. I don't know if you're aware, my opinion on festive pops. So I'll show you what the pop is in question. And they wrapped it in this lovely brown bag. So this is the Hobby Shop in Faversham. I put some details um, on screen so you can check that out. But before I open this video, sorry, before I open this Funko, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please leave a comment in the comment section below as well. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of this Funko Pop that I'm about to open and leave a like. So, without further ado, let's get him, there's a clue, out. R2-D2 from Star Wars. I paid to £10 and they have put a sticker on that. It shouldn't be too hard to get that off. I had not seen this particular version. I, all I ever see is the one with the antlers, the Star Wars uh, R2-D2 Christmas version, which I absolutely hate. I don't like it. I don't like Star Wars. I, I don't like any Christmas Funko Pops. I think they're a complete waste don't of time. Like Star Wars, why um, you get that and in, well, no, I like Star Wars. In my opinion, a Christmas Funko Pop would spend the whole year in the loft. Um, and that's what I feel about that. But this box was in great condition as well. They had about three of these in the shop. So I picked the one with the best box. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this box at all. There's the characters on the back. There's the other, the other characters that you, can, that you can get in this range. It says, no, I'm not speaking right. This is number 31. In the pop stars. Actually, when I say the box is, um, it's okay. There's a bit of a ding in the bottom corner there, but it's nothing particularly that I'm worried about. And I do actually keep my Star Wars ones in box, but for ten pounds, I thought this was um, worth picking up because I just haven't seen it out and about in the wild ever. So got me Nando's card. I had, I didn't notice it had that little bit of ding in the bottom corner. But it's nothing. But it was, yeah, it was the best conditioned one in there. So there's nothing wrong with that particularly. So let's get R two D two out and have a look. It's a bobblehead, so I'm interested to see exactly how that works. Here he comes. The background fell out. It's just that that bit. And here he comes. Oh, right, okay. So it's not actually the head that bobbles. It's all of that bit. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I did wonder how they were going to do that. But that's almost like now suspension on his um, on his legs. Yeah, I like that. I was, I was worried. I thought this top section here wobbled. And I had like a little bit of movement. Why did you worry? I was so worried. <laughs> I did. I, I didn't sleep uh, since I bought this. I was so concerned. Anyway, look, look at that. It's brilliant. I love the way that wobbles. You've got like that suspension. I've always liked things that wobble. I love a wobbly wobble. I defy anyone to say that the festive R2-D2 is better than that one. If, if you feel that's the case, then just fucking unsubscribe to this channel. I don't want to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant. No, I'm really pleased with that, actually. Abby? Lovely. Take you around the back here. £10, as I said. Yeah, very good. 
It's about, I think it's about what it's worth. It's just I'd never seen it before, so I had to buy that. And every time I've picked up an R2-D2, like I said, whenever I'm in a shop, it's the one with the reindeers. Um, and I don't like Christmas pops. <laughs> I, don't, I like Christmas. I just don't like Christmas Funko pops. Oh, brilliant. That's so cool. Look, you see the wobble? Yes, I did. It's lovely. That's a lovely wobble. Someone's coming to the door. Oh, hang on. That's got to be maybe one second. We always get my stuff delivered. Always. Oh, Abby's had boxes already this morning. Because it's nearly Christmas. Okay, so you've had some more boxes. I don't get anything. Abby's had this from Amazon. This from Amazon. Are they both Amazon? Yeah, you've had that one over there this morning from Amazon. Another three, four, was it? So yeah. we had six boxes. Yeah, because it's Black Friday yesterday and I had to get um, oh. Christmas presents. Oh. Anyway. Don't get started. I hope you will. I got R2-D2. She hasn't. Yeah, you buy Christmas presents for yourself. I buy things for other people, me. R2-D2? I'm, I'm not putting that in. I'm not even listening to you. I'm just looking at the wobble. I'm so impressed with that wobble. Did anyone else know it wobbled like this? Please let me know in the comments below, is this better than the festive R2-D2? R2-D2 pop, absolutely, 100% it is. There we go, brilliant. And um, Have you got any words of wisdom to finish up with there, Abby? Any nice anecdotes that I can Always pass smile on? as you wobble. She's, she's full of them, she's full of them. Always smile as you wobble. And on that note, TTFM. Yeah.